It is a difficult and anxious time for a lot of people. But what is it like to bring a new life into the world right now? Cairo 770 Kim spoke to a couple, both frontline essential workers, about what it's like to have a baby during a pandemic. Michelle and Brad Cheney are trying to settle into their new normal as a family of five. Okay. Hi, baby. They welcomed baby Chloe into the world just two and a half weeks ago. She's born during the pandemic. <laughs> they can laugh about it, but they recognize that life right now is far from normal, especially since they both work on the front line. Brad is a lieutenant with South King Fire. Michelle is a nurse at St. Francis Hospital in Federal Way. She described her concerns, which led to her taking leave a couple of weeks early to reduce her exposure to the coronavirus. Being in the front line, you're exposed, you don't know how often or when by some of these patients because they present so differently. Because of concerns over COVID-19, hospitals across the area have implemented stricter security, but even Michelle and Brad were caught off guard when they arrived at Good Samaritan Hospital in Puyallup. We get there and it just has a different feel. And, and it's not bad, but it's cold and it's empty. There's no um, hustle and bustle of other family members anxiously awaiting the arrival. There is also strict rules about visitation. In their case, it meant Brad and Michelle's mom could be in the delivery room, but only Brad could visit in the hospital as Michelle and Chloe waited to go home. Michelle's best friend was even having her baby two doors down, but they couldn't visit, so they FaceTimed instead. Even though they're home now, because of rules about social distancing, no friends or family outside of grandparents have met baby Chloe. Everybody else is anxiously waiting. And uh, in fact, we just got a text message right before uh, this saying, hey, you want to set up a Zoom meeting so we can actually finally meet baby Chloe? <laughs> the Cheneys recognize it's a difficult time for many, especially for first time parents. We feel your struggle. Um, we see your sorrows of the new rules, the lockdowns of the hospitals, the fear that you guys have, um, wanting to do best for you and your family. They want to express their gratitude to the frontline hospital workers who are working in extraordinary times. The nurses really are unsung heroes, and they don't get enough credit for what they do. And they have these words to share with others. This too shall pass. <laughs> it's a scary time. It is. But listen to... Your, your providers. Simney Kim, Cairo 7 News.